Hi, this is Jared from Shoe Gnome, and today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning up interior elevations to make them nice and pretty, or at least one aspect of them nice and pretty. Um, so what we're talking about here is getting an interior, interior elevation that has a clean airline, and so you don't see any of this garbage that's outside of the um, what you typically see in an interior elevation. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it'll make sense by the end. So. First thing I want to do is I'm going to right click, go to elevation settings or interior elevation settings, and I'm going to go to model display, uniform pen for cut elements. Now, in this model, all the cut elements, because I've been following the standards I've set up, are all uniform, but this is just a fail safe. I'm going to set check uh, uniform pen for cut elements, and I'm going to make them all, for me, pen number four, which is this 0.99. Um, green. So I'm going to hit OK. So now we can see everything that's cut is green. The next step is select all, um, which is Command A, copy, deselect that, paste, and now I'm going to move everything down, say, 30 feet. Um, 30 feet, that number is not real important, it's just that you want it away from the model and um, you want a known distance because we're going to have to move things back up eventually. Now that we have a 2D version of um, our interior elevation, we can start creating our jig to make a fill to mask off everything we don't want. So I'm going to make marquee. Again, select all. I've selected now everything within the marquee. That's 2D. I'm going to go to edit, find and select, and Within find and select, I'm going to set up some criteria. I'm going to do element type is all, um, everything just looking at things inside the marquee, and then I want pen color equals pen number four, which this green color, uh, which again for me is cut elements. Now by hitting the minus selection, I've now, from all the objects I've selected, um, deselected the green ones. So before I, if you can see I had 1913, hit the minus, I've now down to 1751. Um, which means if I hit the delete key, I have deleted everything but the outlines of the cut objects. Now I'm going to go through um, and pretty mindlessly um, start deleting all the lines I don't need. And I think technically you probably don't even have to do this, but um, I'm kind of obsessive compulsive, so that's how I work. I guess one could rationalize it by saying it's a, a fail safe that there's no holes in your outline. Um, and in fact, um, There is one spot where I have to be aware of because there is a hole right here. Um, and in my section, I don't need to see this. I just want to see the face of that cabinet. So what I'm going to do is um, delete all those lines and then select this line, bring it down, and connect it there. So now I have an airline, which really doesn't do anything for me at the moment. I'm now going to select a fill. I have a masking fill layer for this. I'm going to set it to an empty fill, um, going to give it a white background, give it an outline, and make that outline my pen number four for the cut line. Now I'm just going to make some box. Um, again, sometimes I'm a little obsessive, so I'll make this a pretty number, like 50 feet by 30 feet. And again, I'm living feet and inches land. Um, okay, so I digress there for a second. So I've got this fill. I'm going to select that fill, go to the pet palette, select the minus, hold down spacebar for the magic wand, um, and click. And now I have a fill that has a hole. If I move it back up 30 feet, that hole is shaped like the airline, this, of the interior elevation. I'm going to select that, right click, display order, and again, I typically do this with um, key commands, and I'm going to, I'll just go bring to front, and there we are. 
So now that fill masks off everything we don't want to see. I'm going to switch this to uh, black and white, turn on true line weight. We can see you've got this really nice airline going all around the entire elevation. Everything here is 3D. All we have is this one fill, which took pretty much no time to do. And when you're not talking out loud while doing it, you can do it even faster. So that's a great trick for doing clean, pretty interior elevations.